Here's a time-saving tip for working with lists in Markdown. Say that you have an ordered list, such as my shopping list here, and you want to add something into that list. So as I'm going to the store, I realize I also want to pick up some cookies. So I'm going to go right in the middle of my list and add cookies into that list now. You can see that by doing this, I've actually messed up the numbering. So I have one, two, three, four, and then two, four, and then five. So uh, I have messed up the numbering of my list. Now, if you're like me, you'll probably want to go and fix this right away. So I'd have to go in here and say five and then six. But if you then go and delete one of the elements or you add something else into the list, then you have to fix the numbering again. And that just kind of sucks. So let's actually go and undo that because you actually don't have to worry about this at all. So this might annoy you looking at the markdown text here. But as soon as we render the markdown, the numbers really don't matter. So if you don't trust me, let's open up VS Code's markdown preview. So I'm going to leave the numbering just as it is with those two number fours in the list. And I'm in VS Code here, so I can just go in my markdown file up to the icon in the top right corner to open a preview to the side. And you can see that my shopping list is being rendered over here. So this is the rendered version. This is the markup version of my markdown file. And if we actually look at the list, you can see that there's not actually two number fours in the list, despite there being two number fours in the source code over here it is actually numbering everything correctly. What this is showing is that the numbers really don't matter. And seeing this, you might be wondering, well, what else can we do? So let's just go back over here. And for cookies, why don't we update this to be 400? And you can see that the list rendering over on the right-hand side actually did not change at all. So it's still using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, even though our list over here in the markup is looking very weird by having a 400 and then 4 and then 5. At this point, you may be thinking, well, that's kind of interesting, but why would I ever want to do that? It looks terrible to have the numbers like this. Of course, I wouldn't want to have a 400 in my list, so I'm just going to always keep the numbers in order. And that is something you might want to do, but it's also just a real pain. Um, so if you're adding things into the list or removing things from the list, you always have to update the numbers. Your changes are just going to touch a lot more lines than they need to. And we can actually leverage this trick that Markdown doesn't care about the numbers to really make maintenance a whole lot easier. So let's go back here. And we're going to go and just have our number uh, or our list with two number fours there. And instead of actually trying to maintain the numbers ourselves, we're just going to go really extreme. And because Markdown doesn't care about the numbers, let's just use one dot for everything. So we'll say one dot for all of the elements in the list. Now, this looks a little weird over in the markup. But as we look over into the rendered Markdown, sure enough, the list is still being rendered correctly with one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is really showing, again, that Markdown does not care about the numbering. You could use the same number for everything. One dot just is a very convenient way of um, numbering all the elements in the list. And now we can actually go around and shift the elements in the list very easily. I could even go and delete one. So let's let's delete apples. That's a little too healthy here. And you can see that uh, our shopping list has just automatically been updated. We didn't have to worry about fixing the numbering just because we're using the same number for everything, but it's still being rendered correctly in the uh, rendered version of the markdown. There is one important exception, though, where the numbering does matter, and that is for the very first element in the list. So if we went and tried to uh, change the first element in the list, so let's go and actually make this a 5 instead of a 1, you'll see that it actually did change the rendering over here in the rendered markdown. So now our list starts with 5, and then it continues counting up from there. So the first element in the list does define where the counting starts, but after that, the numbering does not matter. This can be useful if you have two markdown lists that are separated by another element and you want to keep them in sync. So let's go back here and right in between the first two elements and the rest, I'm going to add some text. So I'll say blah, blah, blah. And now we have two markdown lists. And you can see that the numbering is a little off if we actually wanted this to be one continuous list. So I have one, two, and then one, two, three. I can fix that by going to the first element in the second list here and just going and defining the starting number. So I'll say three. And now we have the correct ordering. Again, I did not have to actually update the numbering for anything else here. I was just able to update that first element. And that defines where the counting is going to start or where the numbering is going to start. And then the numbering will continue correctly after that. So that's a look at how Markdown list numbering works. But getting a little bit more into the editorial side, my recommendation is that if your Markdown is primarily going to be viewed in its rendered form, so you're rendering it to HTML, and that is what people are going to see, just use one dot everywhere, except potentially for the first element in the list. It will save you a lot of time. When you're making changes, you won't have to touch as many lines. It's just a whole lot easier to maintain. Uh, and you will definitely um, thank yourself in the future because it is much nicer to work with. Now, if your markdown is going to be viewed more in its text form, then you might want to consider using the correct numbering. And there can be tools out there that will actually enforce the correct numbering or help you maintain the correct numbering. Again, though, that numbering is not actually something that you need for the markdown to be rendered correctly. So even though it might look a little bit odd at first, I think over time you might start leaning towards using one dot everywhere, uh, especially if the markdown is primarily going to be rendered. So that's a little time-saving tip for working with ordered lists in markdown.